Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm Bearded Ford Tech. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please consider hitting that subscribe. I have here a 2016 Transit T250 with 219,725 miles. The fleet driver's concern is that the AC does not blow cold. So let's turn the AC on it's semi-warm so let's get up underneath the hood let's hook up the ac machine to it and see what the compressor is doing all right i accidentally said 16 it's actually a 17 transit 250 and this one's equipped with the 3.7 liter okay so there's our ac compressor right down there you can see it and if we look back this way, it might be kind of hard to see because my hose is in the way, but the AC compressor is not on. All right, so I'm gonna hook up the AC machine and see if there's any Freon in this thing. There's one hookup right here. And the other one is down there. So let's get the AC machine hooked up and then we're gonna see if there's any Freon in this thing. Got the high side, got the low side. They are closed right now. They're not open, okay? We're gonna, over here, go back over here, actually. This one takes 2.75 pounds. Come back over here. All right, we are going to do that. Whoa, no, I don't wanna do that. I wanna do that. And I want to recover. And it's gonna tell me to open it. Open, open. There's my high, there's my low. We're going to go ahead and hit that. And it's gonna take a sample and then it's gonna tell me if it's good or not. And after I do that, we'll see how much comes out of it. And then we'll go from there. All right, so let's pull in a sample. It's 100% R134A, whatever gas is in there. So it's going to suck it all out. It's going to go through five stages. And it's going to tell me how much it recovers. And then we're going to go from there. While wow, that's sucking down over there, we're going to use this really cool black light and see if anything's leaking. So there's the compressor. Probably not going to be able to see much. I'm just checking around the compressor, check in, see if I can get you guys in there. Checking the lines. See if I see anything glowing. Goes up, goes around, goes back here to the expansion valve. Nothing leaking. There's also a line that goes way back there. There's nothing leaking there. So far, it's pulled out 0.96 pounds. And that's what my pressures are at right now. So we're going to find it. Okay, it is done. Let's pull everything out. Let's see how much it pulled out. Pulled out 2.07 pounds and 0.9 ounces. Well, it takes 2.75, so that really shouldn't be enough for the compressor not to come on. 0.9 ounces of oil. Let's check the oil bottle. Oh, that doesn't look good. That looks very metallic-y. Oh. No, I think we got a failed compressor. Oh, 
Yeah, we got a failed compressor. Uh, looks like I'm doing a compressor and a condenser and an expansion valve and lines probably. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so what we figured out is why the AC compressor doesn't come on is because it has failed internally. You guys saw all the metal in the oil. So it looks like I'm going to be doing a condenser, compressor, the lines, expansion valve, and vacuum it, then recharge it, and we'll go from there. That compressor is fairly new. It's not very old. Uh, maybe a year, give or take. But that's what's going on with this bad boy. The, the oil told us it's failed. There was no oil in that when I first started. So that's the oil that came out of there. So it, it happens. These things run all the time. So I'll go ahead and get a compressor and everything ordered for it. Appreciate you guys sticking around, going through this little AC diagnostic procedure. So I love you guys and I'll see you on the next one.